Many dogs and pet parents love to spend time at the beach. There are, however, a few things that are super important for you to do this safely with your dog. It is Jose here from Train Me Please. Let's talk about it. I will base some of the content of this video on a small section of this great book here by Linda Michaels. You can find a link to it in the description under the video. To start off, avoid overwhelming your dog. Visiting the beach during quiet times and for short periods is probably the best way to introduce this location to most dogs. Check the specific rules and regulations of that beach regarding dogs. Avoid staying at the dog beach entry point. This is likely a high traffic area and not one that will set up your pup for success, especially at the start. Learn about heat stroke which can be super serious or even deadly. Senior dogs and dogs with a short upper respiratory tract are especially susceptible. These include the Pug, Boston Terrier, Pekingese and Bulldogs. Some signs of heat stroke include labored panting and gums or tongue that change in coloration, pink, bright red, or purple, for example. Vomiting, diarrhea, and unsteadiness are other symptoms that can be indicative of heat stroke. Take your dog to an emergency vet immediately if you ever see any signs of heat stroke. In summer, avoid going to the beach in the middle of the day and go instead early or late in the day so that the temperature is less extreme. Small amounts of water are better and safer than a massive drinking session. Cool water is okay. Ice cold water is not. Organize pauses in play and rest in shaded areas. A method that can be utilized to cool down a dog is to pour some cool, not cold, water on the dog's back or tummy. We've got a few more to cover in just a second, but first, could you please click the like button below so that more people can find this content? Cute photo as a thanks. If your dog has short fur or a pink nose, consider applying dog-friendly or baby sunscreen to protect them from the sun's harmful rays. Train your dog a super reliable recall, which can be very handy or even life-saving at the beach. Be super mindful of potential hazards like sharp shells, broken glass and marine life, which your dog may try to investigate. Pay attention to your dog's behavior and body language. Not all dogs enjoy going to the beach. If you want to contribute to the work that I do here on YouTube, you can make me super happy by giving me a super thanks down below. Also, leave me a comment with the keyword sand. That will let me know that you watched the video to this point. We talked about recalls, didn't we? If you want to learn about it, you've got it right here. Un grande abraço e até a próxima. Tchau.